In this podcast episode, the host engages in a conversation with relationship expert Allison Armstrong. With over 30 years of experience in understanding the dynamics between men and women, Armstrong shares her insights on the misconceptions surrounding male behavior and the fundamental needs that drive men in relationships. Armstrong begins by emphasizing the critical role that safety plays in a woman's life, particularly in her relationship with a man. She explains that when a woman feels safe, it can transform her entire life. This sense of safety is often derived from the respect and trust that a man provides. However, when a woman continually undermines a man's sense of worth, it creates an environment where he feels insecure about what he is building in life. This dynamic can lead to a cycle of misunderstanding where women perceive men as terrible, not realizing that their actions contribute to the men's feelings of inadequacy. Armstrong highlights that this lack of understanding is prevalent among many women. They often fail to recognize how their behavior affects men, leading to a disconnect in relationships. When women see the impact of their actions on men, they can shift their approach, fostering a more supportive and respectful environment. This realization can lead to profound changes in how men respond, often resulting in a more positive and fulfilling relationship. Armstrong recounts her experiences conducting workshops for women where they explore their interactions with men. During these sessions, women often have eye-opening realizations about how their behavior can bring out the worst in men. The transformation that occurs in these workshops is remarkable. Women leave with a newfound understanding of their impact on men and the dynamics of their relationships. This shift in perspective allows them to approach their partners with a different intent, leading to more harmonious interactions. The immediate changes that women observe in men after adopting a more respectful and trusting approach are striking. Armstrong notes that men often respond positively when they feel appreciated and valued. This newfound awareness among women not only enhances their relationships, but also fosters a deeper connection with their partners. The workshops serve as a catalyst for change, enabling women to recognize their power in shaping the dynamics of their relationships. Armstrong delves into the concept of love, distinguishing between feeling love and being love. She asserts that love is infinite, eternal, and always accessible, while feelings of love can fluctuate based, based on circumstances. This distinction is crucial for understanding how to cultivate a loving relationship. When individuals recognize that love itself is a constant, they can navigate the ups and downs of their emotional experiences without losing sight of the deeper connection they share. Moreover, Armstrong emphasizes that love should not be conditional. The idea of unconditional love is often misunderstood. If one feels the need to label it as such, it may indicate a lack of understanding of what love truly is. By embracing the concept of love as a constant, individuals can foster healthier relationships that are not contingent on external factors or behaviors. This understanding allows for a more profound connection where both partners can thrive and grow together. Armstrong views relationships as a training ground for individuals to choose love over fear. She believes that the dynamics between partners provide opportunities for personal growth and self-discovery. In this context, relationships become a mirror, reflecting back the areas where individuals need to evolve. By engaging in this process, both men and women can learn to navigate their emotions and reactions, ultimately leading to a more fulfilling partnership. The journey of personal growth within a relationship requires vulnerability and openness. Armstrong encourages individuals to embrace their imperfections and recognize that growth often comes from facing challenges together. This shared experience can strengthen the bond between partners, allowing them to support each other in their respective journeys. As they learn to communicate effectively and express their needs, they create a safe space for growth and transformation. A significant aspect of Armstrong's work involves understanding the hormonal differences between men and women and how these differences shape behavior. She explains that testosterone and estrogen influence how individuals perceive and interact with the world. For men, testosterone often drives a focus on productivity and achievement, while women, influenced by estrogen, may prioritize connection and emotional safety. 
Armstrong highlights that these hormonal influences can lead to misunderstandings in relationships. For instance, women may perceive men's focus on productivity as a lack of interest in emotional connection, while men may struggle to understand women's need for emotional safety. By recognizing these differences, both partners can approach each other with greater empathy and understanding, fostering a more harmonious relationship. Armstrong addresses the issue of emasculation, which often occurs when women inadvertently undermine men's sense of worth. She explains that emasculation can manifest in various ways, including criticism, withholding affection, and failing to acknowledge a man's contributions. This behavior can lead to feelings of inadequacy and resentment, ultimately damaging the relationship. To counteract emasculation, Armstrong encourages women to practice appreciation and admiration for their partners. By recognizing and celebrating a man's strengths, women can help him feel valued and respected. This shift in perspective not only enhances the man's self-esteem, but also strengthens the overall dynamic of the relationship. When both partners feel appreciated, they are more likely to support each other and work together toward common goals. Effective communication is a cornerstone of healthy relationships, and Armstrong emphasizes its importance throughout the conversation. She notes that many individuals confuse criticism and complaints with genuine communication. Instead of expressing their needs and desires, they often resort to negative language that can create defensiveness and conflict. Armstrong advocates for a more constructive approach to communication, encouraging individuals to clarify their needs and intentions. By asking open-ended questions and expressing vulnerability, partners can foster a deeper understanding of each other's perspectives. This practice not only enhances emotional intimacy, but also allows for more productive problem solving within the relationship. Armstrong discusses the concept of objectification, particularly how it relates to the dynamics between men and women. She explains that when individuals feel overwhelmed by another person, they may reduce them to a mere object, stripping away their complexity and humanity. This behavior can lead to a lack of empathy and understanding, ultimately damaging the relationship. To combat objectification, Armstrong encourages individuals to recognize the unique qualities and strengths of their partners. By appreciating the depth and complexity of each person, couples can foster a more meaningful connection. This shift in perspective allows for greater compassion and understanding, creating a healthier dynamic within the relationship. Armstrong highlights the significance of receiving in relationships, particularly for women. She explains that many women struggle with the ability to receive love, support, and admiration from their partners. This difficulty often stems from feelings of unworthiness or the belief that they must reciprocate immediately. To cultivate the ability to receive, Armstrong encourages women to let go of the notion of deserving and embrace the idea of gratitude. By allowing themselves to accept love and support without the pressure to give back, women can create a more balanced dynamic in their relationships. This practice not only enhances emotional intimacy, but also allows both partners to feel valued and appreciated. As the conversation progresses, Armstrong reflects on the journey of aging and the societal pressures that women face regarding beauty and worth. She emphasizes that aging does not diminish a woman's value. Rather, it offers opportunities for growth and self-discovery. By embracing their unique qualities and experiences, women can cultivate a sense of radiance that transcends physical appearance. Armstrong encourages women to shift their focus from societal standards of beauty to the inner qualities that make them unique. By celebrating their individuality and embracing the wisdom that comes with age, women can foster a deeper sense of self-acceptance. This shift not only enhances their confidence, but also allows them to connect more authentically with their partners. Armstrong addresses the issue of competition in relationships, explaining how it often arises from a perception of scarcity. When individuals view their partner as a rival for attention, resources, or affection, it can create tension and conflict. Armstrong emphasizes the importance of recognizing the unique strengths and contributions of each partner to foster a more collaborative dynamic. To combat competition, Armstrong encourages couples to focus on their shared goals and values. 
By working together toward common objectives, partners can cultivate a sense of unity and support. This collaborative approach not only enhances the relationship, but also allows both individuals to thrive and grow together. Armstrong concludes the conversation by exploring the spiritual dimensions of relationships. She emphasizes that love is a powerful force that transcends physical presence. Even after a loved one passes away, the connection remains and individuals can continue to experience the love and support of those who have departed. By embracing this spiritual perspective, individuals can cultivate a deeper understanding of love and connection. This awareness allows them to navigate the complexities of relationships with greater compassion and empathy.